So are you guys deciding not to read the nasty comments about you about you and you know some people write on Twitter or do you do you read those comments or yeah. do you kind of you're away from them. I choose not to read. I choose not to read the comments, and it's not even a choice. I just don't have the time. Honestly, I don't have the time. It t it's very time consuming. It takes brain power, all of that stuff, to just read people's comments because you you do take that in. Honestly, you do. And sometimes when you take offense, it takes time to even answer back or say whatever the heck you want to say. And sometimes it's worth it. Sometimes yeah. you just gotta get off your chest. You're like, no, this these people got it twisted, and I have to say what I want to yeah. say. But um, to me, it's just time consuming. But I, I don't know what my sisters are gonna. Lizzie, our sister Lizzie's Lizzie, Lizzie have the most problems. Oh no. Yeah, Lizzie can't help. I herself. literally don't have the time because yeah. I've got two children. So yeah. it's like if I actually sit back and write back to these people, I'm spending a lot of time doing it. Otherwise, it's yeah. just I do read though. I'm guilty yeah. of reading. Yeah. yeah I'll read it. <laughs> I prefer to like read the title or something, read a story, and see a picture than to read a billion comments. I do read comments sometimes just to be because I wanna I wanna answer my fans. If it's positive, yeah. I try to take the positive because those people deserve your energy rather than the negative ones. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And what did you guys learn about yourself mostly through this filming and this experience? Oh, man. Something new you learned about yourselves. Oh, what did we learn? I I so learned much. that we're always growing. Yeah. That there's constant change in your life and if you're open to it and you're not set in your ways, then you're much better off. So, I mean, there's always maturing mm -hmm. to be done. No, exactly what you just said. To me, there's there's growth, there's con constant growth. And, you know, sometimes what you think might be your plan or what your idea is, is or, or, some, or when you've made up your mind about something, sometimes you could be wrong and it's okay. Like, you could be wrong and you could fix it or you can make things better. Like, even for me, like, I've been working with my mom for 20 years and it's this, it's been a transition. And there are moments where I can think completely negative of her and our relationship and anything and all that we've built and how our personalities are. But at the end of the day, I feel like the show brought us together and we gained a respect. It was able, she was able to see where I'm at in my life and why I'm doing the things that I'm doing and how we can work together. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it, it helps you to see that we are, like she said, we're, all, we're constantly evolving. And um, I, I think for me, stops. yeah, it doesn't stop and things can work. People can change for the better. Mm -hmm. So I think things can change for the better, especially when it comes to family. You want that for each other. And has the show kind of brought you guys closer as sisters too? Yeah, absolutely. Yes, yeah. Especially in this time because we grew up together for a long time. Like into our, well for me into my mid-20s mm -hmm. until pretty much I met my ex-husband. Mm -hmm. So honestly, we were always like, we were a, a, a very hardcore, person. very like, like family group. Like you didn't see me without my mom. You didn't talk about us without talking about my sisters. And so when we started to, you know, grow independent of being in one household, that transition alone was a little bit off for us because we're like, okay, we're not, we're used to talking to each other every day, knowing each other's business. We're used to mom ta talking to all of us about each other's right. business and almost kind of like gaining one opinion based off of one, you know, one big conversation in a household. And um, I think now, you know, this definitely brought us together after doing the show and working together. Mm -hmm. Like, we're all like, this, we were equally stressed. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> we were equally scared. We were equally vulnerable. And we, like, and at the same time, we, we see big things for the show, too. Mm -hmm. I think, um, I think it, just, it definitely made us closer. Yeah, we needed that. We mm -hmm. needed that. Because mm -hmm. I think for a while there, I think with where we were all going in our lives. She was just living in Vegas. Right. She just got married. You know, I had a divorce and out, you know, and then I was single, you know what I mean? We all have different places in our lives and uh, where it used to be all the same. <laughs> so it was like, okay, now I understand what's going on with you mm -hmm. and how, you know, how to fit in. Yeah, that kind right. of thing. Will there be drama between you guys? <laughs> you could say that. that. <laughs> you're just speaking to the two, <laughs> you're just speaking to the two. <laughs> some drama but that's sisters we're sisters and up with our mom too yes. but honestly especially between sisters like we could have drama about the smallest things like is that my outfit that you're wearing right now like <laughs> yeah. it could be something minimal like that to just like we talk to each other about each other like right. it's typical but there are moments and especially you will see it on the show that it is it does get a little heated mm, can't wait <laughs> <laughs> yeah are we gonna be seeing your daughter Violet on the show at all Yes, Violet is on the show. Oh, yeah, my little pumpkin. She's, I, I uh, you know, we, we have, you know, she's plays a su substantial part of my life oh, and yeah. she's, you know, my, my inspiration. So she, she'll be on the show and she's a little, 
She's a little feisty, fun one. Mm -hmm. uh, will her will her father, the dream, make any appearances? Um, no. This season, he's not making any appearances, but okay. who knows? You never know. How, what's what's it like co-parenting with him? Is yeah, is it good or yeah, it's really good. Yeah, we've, you know, I, it's been such a blessing. Um, you know, co-parenting. He's a he's a great father. You know, he he's um, and Violet loves her dad. She Aww. loves her dad. Yeah, when they spend time, it just he he makes it really special. But for us. You know, we're two working parents, and especially in the careers that we have, we make it work just fine. So it's, it's perfect because between traveling and just making sure that we focus on parenting first, you know, we make it work however we have to do it.